Today's video is on binomial distribution and this is related to the probability distribution. So in this video, we have to find the probability that at most five defective components will be found. See here, at most five defective components will be found in a lot of 200. Experience show that 2% of such components are defective. 2% of components are defective and also find the probability of more than 5. See here, more than 5 defective components. So, it's very easy. Find the probability that at most 5 defective components will be found in a lot of 200. Here, n is given as 200. Experience show that 2% of such components are defective. The defective components are 2%. Here, p is given as 2%. And Q is equal to 8%. And also find the probability of more than 5 defective items. So it is very clear that P is given as 2%. N is given as 200. Q e, we have to estimate as 8%. And we have to find out the probability of uh, at most 5 defective components. And more than 5. There is a difference between at most and more than 5. See solution here. So, first of all, we have to write that what is P? P is the probability of defective component. So, P is equal to what is P? P is equal to the probability of defective component. So, P is equal to, this is 2%. So, P is equal to, this is 2 by 100. And so, P value is equal to 0 0.02. And as you know that, the total probability is always equal to unity. That is, P plus Q is equal to 1. Therefore, the probability of non-defective components. So, P value is equal to 0 0.02 plus Q is equal to 1. And Q is equal to 1 minus 0 0.02. And Q is equal to 0. Point. See here, if I take from 1, so this will be 98, 0. 0.98. So Q value is equal to 0. 0.98 and P value is equal to 0. 0.02 and the total probability is equal to 1. And see, from this question, 5 defective components will be found in a lot of 200. So here N is equal to the number of components in a lot. So what is N? n is equal to so n is equal to number of components in a lot so n is equal to 200 so we got the values of p q and n so after getting p q and n so we have to find out the probability so what is the the probability needed, the probability of getting at most, see here, at most 5 defective components. So, here, P value is equal to 0 0.02. Q is equal to, see here, what is our P value? 0 0.02. Q is equal to 0 0.98 and N is equal to 200. And now, we have to find out the probability of at most. See, probability of uh, at most 5 defective items. I am going to find out the probability of first solution 1. Probability of getting at most 5 defective components. So, at most, see here, maximum from 5. So, probability of getting at most 5 defective items is maximum 5 defective items. So, we can get 0 defective items, 1 defective item, 2 defective, see here. So, this is nothing but probability of x is equal to 0, x is equal to 1, probability of x is equal to 2, probability of x is equal to 3 plus probability of x is equal to 4 plus probability of x is equal to 5. See here, at most 5 means maximum 5 defective components. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 we have to calculate in order to get 
the probability of getting at most to five defective items see here we have a formula that probability of x is is equal to r is nothing but according to the binomial distribution ncr p power r this is q power n minus r so here r value n value p value is ready so i have to calculate all these for this one x is equal to 0 nc not so what is n here n is equal to what is the n value 200 see nc not p power what is p 0 0.02 power 0 and q this is 0 0.98 power r ncr p power r q power n minus r clear and the next one here is for x is equal to 1 same thing that is ncr this is p power r this is q power n minus r and the next one for uh, probability of x is equal to 3 see here so this will be ncr so r is for probability of x is equal to 2 that is n p power r this is q power this is n minus r and the next one here is for 3 for uh, r is equal to 3 the value here will be 200 c3 ncr p power r this is q power n minus r and again for uh, n is equal to 4 c for n is equal to 4 this will be ncr p power r this is q power n minus r for next x is equal to so which value we need for uh, x is equal to 5 that that will be ncr p power r this is q power n minus r now we have to calculate all this value so in order to calculate all these values see it is very very clear that first of all i will multiply these values so first one is this one 200 and c naught value is equal to 1 so this is 1 into anything to the power of 0 is again 1 and next this value is 0 0.98 Power, this is 200 and the next one here is this value is nothing but 200 200 c1 is 200 and this is 0 0.02 into 0 0.98 200 minus 1 that is 199 and the next one if you see this value is nothing but this value is nothing but 200 c2 that is Two backward steps that is 200 into 199 by 1 into 2 and this value is 0 0.02 whole square and this is 0 0.98 this value 200 and minus 2 that is 198 and see the next value here is this one 200 and c3 so three backward steps that is 200 into 199 into 198 by 1 into 2 into 3 and this is 0 0.02 whole cube this is 0 0.98 200 so this is 200 minus 3 that is 197 197 and the next one here is 200 c4 so four backward steps that is 200 into 199 into 198 into 197 by 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 and this value is nothing but 0 0.02 power 4 and 0 0.98 200 minus 4 this is 196 and here the last step here is 200 c5 so five backward steps that is 200 into 199 into 198 into this value is 197 into 196 divided by 
1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. This is 0 0.02 power 5 and this value is 0 0.98, 98, 200 minus 5. This is 190, 195. So, from here, so see, from here, we have to calculate all the values and we have to substitute these values. So, out of all these, see here, out of all these, we have to substitute and add, add up all these values. If you use your calci and calculate, the answer will be 0 0.78. See here, 7867. So, the value if you calculate slowly. So, this will be 0 0.7867. So, this is probability of uh, x less than or equal to 5. That is at most 5. And next to this time, what is it we have to calculate? So, now we have to calculate that. And again, also find the probability of more than 5 defective components. So, for at most 5, so probability of x less than or equal to 5. So, for probability of x less than or equal to 5, the value here is 0 0.7867. And see, for the solution 2, see what happens here. For solution 2, probability of more than 5, of more than 5 defective components. For more than 5 defective components is nothing but more than 5. Probability of uh, x greater than 5 can be written as 1 minus probability of x less than or equal to 5. As we have the value ready here. So, this is nothing but 1 minus 0 0.7867. So, which is equal to 0. Point, this is 2, 1, double 3. Therefore, the probability of getting more than 5 defective components is nothing but 0 0.2133. This is how we have to solve. Thank you so much for watching and staying till the end.